Salute everybody. We back again. This one right here is in response to, for uh, Royal Family Pets. He had a good question, and that was on the basis of preparing a bitch, uh, transitioning from work to getting ready to breed. And he asked what should be the change in diet or what should be the preparation. Um, there's not much change, but there is a, a subtle change. You want a higher uh, concentration of animal fats and a concentration on omega-3s. You want a higher fat to protein ratio. For me, that means you're going to feed like a, a uh, the 73 and uh, uh, 27 uh, ground beef. You're going to feed... Uh, Pretty much what, what what we've been feeding now, the chicken with the skin on it. Some people might say uh, put the lard, put lard in 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 the food. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna need more concentration on supplements with zinc, calcium, and uh, uh, choline. These help aid in in, in fertility. And uh, create stronger cells. You're gonna you're gonna uh, promote strong cells, shall I say, in uh, an immune system. You're gonna need uh, a concentration of vitamin E, which also helps that. For me, that means I'm gonna drop the flaxseed, which a flaxseed is a plant based, uh, but unlike uh, uh, wheat germ oil, flaxseed has more photo uh, uh, phytoestrogens and more uh, less geared towards omega-3s and uh and, and vitamin e so at this point I, I would actually say feed more uh with the wheat germ oil and the fish oil and then from there uh also a supplement that i used uh uh years ago when still it still is a good supplement as far as i know was called nuvet uh the tabs from nuvet they were good tabs they were they uh Promoted strong bones to dogs. The the puppies that I got had big, beautiful bones off of that. The coats were good. They came out real healthy. You know, they had real good immune systems. Uh, allergies. It just the overall, uh, uh, the overall health of, of, of the female was great. So I would say those changes to the diet, along with doing some more research and uh, timing. As far as knowing the timing of your uh, of your females heat normal heat cycles or making sure that you get them in a normal heat cycle. Exercise is good for that. So in the description, I'm going to link some um, uh, some information, this information that I'm giving you and also uh, some more sites that you can look into and where you can get the product that I rec that I recommended that I have used before. There are other products out there like Thomas Labs has the uh, uh, breed heat product. Uh, I think there's another one called Nutramate or something like that. There are other uh, uh, other uh, supplements that come up that you can use, you know, for that. But you just want to make sure that you have the timing right, that you have the zinc, calcium, the uh, uh, choline, the uh, vitamin E, and the right fat sources, the right omega-6 to, uh, to omega-3 ratio. And have them healthy and cleaned out. Make sure you got them wormed. Make sure you got them wormed out. You know, make sure you're doing your expression on your uh, 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 fecal glands and have them clean and in good health. Have them lean. Don't have them overweight. You know, so I'm going to link those uh, uh, link those products and the rest where you can read the research and do the research for you for yourself. That way, you know what you're what you're looking at. And it's not something that somebody just told you. And you can actually get veterinarian uh, uh, research and uh, I'll be linked in the description. Peace.